so you want to update iOS on your iPhone. The process is the same on an iPad or iPod Touch. I will also show you what to do if it doesn't work. Now before we start, it's important that you make a backup if you don't have one already. We shouldn't really need it, but since we're making rather big changes on the phone, we're better off safe than sorry. You can choose between using an iTunes backup stored in your computer and an iCloud backup stored in the cloud and with no computer needed. Links to the videos explaining how to make the backups is in the video description. When that is done, we are ready to update iOS, and this is how to do it. Open your settings. Scroll down and tap General. Tap Software Update. Here you can tap Download and Install. Follow a couple of steps, and then the update will begin. You will have to have Wi-Fi and charge the phone, or have a fully charged battery. After that, you are done. But if it doesn't work, Connect your phone with a cable to the computer. Open up iTunes on the computer. Click on the iPhone icon. You will see what version you have of iOS and be able to click Update. Confirm your choice. If that doesn't work either, or if the iPhone can't connect to the computer, we will put the phone in recover mode. Do like this. While the phone is still connected to the computer and iTunes is running, force restart the phone, but hold the last button longer than usual. How to do this depends on your model. Link to a video explaining this is in the video description. As I use an iPhone 5S, I hold down the home and lock button until I get the option to update or restore in iTunes on the computer. Then I release the buttons and click on update. Confirm your choice. Agree to the terms and conditions of the new iOS version. If you click the spinning icon on the top right corner of iTunes, you can see the iOS downloading time. One important thing is that the phone will back out from recover mode if the installation of the iOS update have not started within 15 minutes, which means that if the download takes longer than 15 minutes, as in my case, we will have to force restart the phone again and follow the following steps. If you have to do that, iTunes will skip the downloading part the second time, which allows us to start the update. If the download takes less than 50 minutes, however, the update will start automatically. So either way, now it's just a matter of waiting. Soon your iPhone is updated. So that's it for this video. If you're having any problems following this guide, there is a link in the description to Apple's own guide and a link where you can find the phone number to the Apple support. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe to the channel.